Hallelujah. Come on, stand on your feet. Come on and clap your hands for the Lord. Father, we bless you in this place. We bless you, Abba Father. We bless you, Yeshua HaMashiach. And we bless you, Holy Spirit. Spirit of God. Rekatabasu Rebekatabaya Ropa Kotabosataya Repekate and the Basu Ramada Basaya. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of your holiness. You are great, Lord. You are great, Yeshua, and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. He is one. We will jump in the river. We will jump in the river of the 
over Holy Spirit. Take over my mind. Take over my thoughts. Take over Holy Spirit. Take over my spirit. Take over Holy Ghost. Take over Holy Spirit. Take over every assignment, every mandate. Take over Holy Spirit. Take over Holy Spirit. Take over Holy Spirit. Lead and guide me and direct me, Holy Ghost. Take over Holy Spirit. For you are our divine navigator. Take over Holy Spirit. For you are our inner GPS system. Take over Holy Spirit. Take over Holy Ghost. 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 Come on, bring your spiritual language right here. Come on, Rick. Come on, close your eyes. We engage in the Holy Ghost. Rekatapasu. Rekatapapapose. Rekatapasu. Rekatapasoto. 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 Rekatapasoto.
Bless the Lord. Come on, lift those hands. Come on, give up those hands. Hallelujah. 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 Woo! Such a sweet presence in this place. We welcome the Holy Spirit. He's the reason that we're here. And we want to say welcome to all of you tonight celebrating this wonderful feast of Pentecost with us. Come on, thank God that you're here. Hallelujah. You're in the right place at the right time. And to all of you, those of who are online tonight, we want to say thank you for joining us in this celebration. All I want you to know is you need to get ready. Somebody say get ready. Hallelujah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Amen. We are so excited to tonight to be here in this, in this place at this particular time. Another Pentecost celebration. Amen. Amen. How many of you come from a, for a Pentecost experience tonight? I don't know about you, but I come from a, for a Pentecost experience tonight. Uh, the Word of God said that they was in one place, they was on one accord, and something pandemonium happened. Yeah. It's something about when we get in one place on one accord with great expectation and i believe tonight that you have come for a, a wonderful experience amen holy spirit gonna breathe on every one of you here tonight and i'm super excited to be a part amen 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 so tonight we exalt the father tonight and we say father just have your way have your way here holy spirit you're welcome in this place tonight you're welcome in this tabernacle tonight to do what you come to do Breathe on us today. Breathe through us. Oh, Father, we just thank you tonight for a, re a sweet refreshing. A sweet refreshing on tonight in the name of Jesus. So we bless every one of you that's come tonight with great expectation that the Holy Spirit has already met you here in this place. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we love you and we give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. 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 We love you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. It is in you that we live, we move, yeah. and we have our being. Yeah. We can't do anything without you. Yeah. Everyone just take a big, big breath and exhale. That's Holy Spirit in you. without him.
and everybody in the building, I want you to stand on your feet tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because I can't live without him, no. And I know you can't live without him. He's the air I breathe. He's the air I breathe. I need you to live, yeah. yeah. I need you to breathe, yeah. Because I can't live without him, no, no, hey. Cause I can't live without him, no, no, hey. So I can't live without him, no. no. And I can't live without him, no. I can't live without him. And I can't breathe without him, yeah. I can't breathe without him. And I can't breathe with if you can't breathe without him, come on. Without you can't live without you, I can't live without you. I can't breathe without you, love. I can't breathe without you. Stand on your feet. Come on, y'all. Because I can't live without him. I know you can't either. Come on. Come on. If he's done anything, if you're here tonight, you can't live without him. Come on. Now listen. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Everybody get on one accord. Come on. Holy Ghost fire. Hey. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, yeah, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, yeah, Holy Ghost fire, yeah, Holy Ghost fire, yeah, Holy Ghost fire, 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 it's like the day of Pentecost, y'all. Holy Ghost fire, they were all on one accord, y'all. Yeah. Holy Ghost fire, we get on one accord tonight, y'all. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, hey. Holy Ghost fire, 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 I need Holy you Ghost to fire. live, I need you to breathe, I can't live without you, I can't live without you, Lord. Every time I think about it, I can't live without you, Lord. I can't live without you, Lord. I can't live without you. I can't live without you, Lord. I can't live without you. Because you've been so good to me. I can't live without you. When I look back over my life, yeah. I can't live without you. Lord, when I think things over. I can't live without you. I can't live without you, Lord. I can't live without you. Without, I can't breathe without you, Lord. I can't breathe without you. Hey, I can't breathe without I you. I can't breathe without you. I can't live without you. I can't live without you. I can't breathe without you. I can't breathe without you. I can't breathe without you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't breathe without you. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Let's just take time. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. I need you to live. I need you to breathe. Hey, hey. Can't live without you. Yes, Lord. Hey, hey. So go. Yes, say it again. I need you to live. Yes. I need you to breathe. If you're at home, come on. I can't live without you. I can't live without you, yeah. I need you to live, yeah, yeah.
on, lift your hands. We can't live. Can't live. Can't live now, now lift your voice and give the Lord a shout. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 It's the Holy Ghost fire. Hallelujah. Come on, shout Holy Ghost fire. Burn Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire, come on, Nani Soto Kola Bansaba. Come on, Naha, Shebe Kutuma Kataka Namaya. Holy Ghost fire, burn Holy Ghost. 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 Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, burn Holy Ghost. Come on. Holy Ghost fire, burn Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire, burn Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire. Now somebody shout fire. Come on, shout it again, fire. Come on, Bakekuma, Sekatomo, Hosi, Mankata. Come on, give the Lord a shout. Shout like you want the Holy Ghost to come upon you. I said, shout like you want the Holy Ghost to come upon you. That you're so inebriated. When you leave this place, something supernatural. Hallelujah is happening hallelujah glory to god turn to your neighbor and say something supernatural is happening for you now turn to another neighbor and say something supernatural is happening for you now the bible says we can decree a thing and it shall be established. Tell your neighbor, I just established something supernatural in your now. So if I act a little strange, it's because something is happening to me right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now look down your row and say, everybody on this row will come in the portal called the supernatural and strange things will begin to happen. Strange encounters. Something. It's going to shift you and catapult you into new dimensions. Do you believe that? Give the Lord a shout. Hey, 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 I wake up a divine shout in your spirit. I call forth a gift and an anointing to be activated tonight that you will give God an outrageous praise. Hallelujah. On this Pentecost, hallelujah. One accord in one place. Hallelujah. And a suddenly happen. Somebody give him a shout. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Welcome all to this Pentecost. Feast of Pentecost. Hallelujah means 50th hallelujah the birthing of the church hallelujah well the word and the spirit comes together hallelujah hallelujah anybody excited tonight
Hallelujah. And we welcome our online audience, amen, and our viewers, amen, our e-members, and all those as partners with us, amen. We are so excited that you are here, amen. Glory to God. I see you, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is not the night to restrain your praise. I don't know what hell you've been through. I don't know what is going on in your life. But tonight, whatever expression the Holy Spirit wants to do through you, let him do through you without restraint, without restriction. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. I think I, I think I arrived at the right church. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the baby's going to praise him tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now somebody give the Lord a shout. Whoa. Ha. Ah. And a child shall lead them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said a child shall lead them. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated. We thank God. Amen. For all of you that are here. But I thank God for my brother and sister that is here. Amen. The rapping rabbi. Prophet Sarah, amen. The whole Isaim uh, crew that is here from Houston, Austin, amen, Oklahoma, wherever they come from, we thank God, amen. We thank God for our Houston apostles, amen. Hallelujah. And uh, we'll introduce them later because we're going to be in Houston with them in a few days. And uh, I know some of you are going to come with us to Houston. And um, so we're so excited about that. Amen. But I'm going to throw the mic at Rabbi. Um, can we get him a mic? Amen. And um, let him just greet you before tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be fantastic. It's going to be phenomenal. And um, you're going to all be here. And uh, it's just going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Tomorrow is going to be crazy. But they're fresh uh, from Israel, just like I am, and um, Singapore, and I don't even know ever, where, everywhere y'all been, amen. So, um, you know, this is my brother and mother from another sister, and just I'm so grateful that God has given us uh, the relationship 
God made us friends. Now, you know when it's a God friend and a yo friend. A God friend will stick with you in the valley, on the mountaintop. When it's your friend, they get flighty and funny. But when it's a God friend, they'll stick closer than a brother. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all, get on your feet and welcome Rabbi and Sarah. All right. Okay. I can't believe you just threw me this mic. But anyway, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited. I, I, I don't even have words. But I will say this, sis. You know, there's these people sometimes that when you just don't know what to do, and when you hear their voice, everything's okay. I came here, and it even didn't matter about all that we're going through or whatever. Stuff, you know, stuff just happens. But when I got here, and I just, she wasn't even in our presence, but it was just like, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. And then when we went in the office, we, I was just, it's not that I'm worshiping her. Is what is inside of her. And she's willing to give it and share it. You guys got to understand what you have. Okay? Not everybody gets this. She wants to take you with her to him, with him, in his presence, and all that he has for us. Okay, so you have to do, you have to give up a few things. It's okay. But look what you gain. Look what you gain. That's why it was just so special for me when I got here. I was just like, oh. it was like, oh. You just don't know what you have. I can say a whole lot more, but I'm going to leave it at that right now. All right. <laughs> you don't want to stay with Shalom. 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 I'm excited. I know you guys were saying fire. fire. Now say this. Ish. Ish. Shelly. My, My fire. That's what you just said. Ish is fire in Hebrew. Ish, 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 right? My fire. So you guys were saying that. I was saying it in Hebrew. But I'm excited. Fair and I realized we were did six countries in what six weeks? I don't know. We've been everywhere: Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, London, Israel. But anyway, the thing about it is that we went to Israel, all the way from Jerusalem. Your Torah is here. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. In Exodus 19, God tells Israel to prepare themselves. In Exodus 20, he shows up. In Acts 2, he showed out. <laughs> the scroll is here. It is so important because it carries the history of God's word. It carries a record of what he told Israel. And when the Lord said to her, he, he said, he, I said, sis, the Lord said he wants you to get a scroll. And she, she, and I said, he wants it for Shavuot. Because that's the time when God showed up. So on tomorrow, you bring the most comfortable shoes and the loudest shout. Because we are going to celebrate God's word. We're going to celebrate the ascended position that we are in, Messiah, Yeshua. And it's extremely important that you don't come dry, but you come ready 
willing, and able. Amen? All right, that's it. Did you hear him say, don't come dry? I felt like tonight you may have been a little dry. It's a little dry. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody needs some water on them. Can you give me some water? I probably need a couple of bottles of water. Maybe I need to douse some people. Hallelujah. Let's see what? Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are y'all ready for tonight? Yeah. Uh, this is going to be Kumai and the Swam. This is going to be more activation, impartation of the word. Amen. Glory to God. In my young and crazy days, I would have probably had 15 bottles up here by now, and I would have been just throwing on everybody. Amen. Uh, y'all know I would douse y'all. I wouldn't even care. I'd be like, Get them a towel. I wouldn't even care. I would just douse y'all with water and be like, wake up. Uh, get thirsty for God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all get ready. Amen. That's all I'm going to say. Amen. If you get wet, it's because you dry. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want something different, you got to do something different. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, y'all be seated. Don't, don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 As I was praying and asking Holy Spirit, what would be the word tonight? And we started something on Wednesday called Supernatural Abilities. And um, the Holy Spirit said, tell my people they're not engaging me. Now we know tonight, historically in the next several days, a couple of days, the Holy Spirit was given. I was standing right in the place um, where a church built over the actual upper room. And I felt the tangible presence of the Almighty. It's because I went there to engage. I didn't go just to see. I went to pull out of the portal where he came. I felt if there was any residue that it could get on me. Y'all, y'all, know, y'all. Some of y'all just came tonight just to see what was going to happen. But others of you said, I can't go back home the way I came. I got to pull something out of this atmosphere. Irregardless if they got it, if they act like they want it or not. I came hungry and thirsty for something brand new. And I believe the Holy Spirit, if you're desperate enough, the Holy Spirit is going to meet you right there. It's just a few of you who are hungry and say, Holy Spirit, whatever you want to do in me, even if I have to stay here all night, I'm going to get what I came for and I'm not leaving until I receive that impartation. Somebody say, Holy Spirit, that's me. So when we look at it, when we look at it, y'all can be seated. When we look at it, there are angels here from Pentecost, the Pentecost portal, and angels that are assigned to Pentecost that are here. If you actively engage and go to that place, I promise you, you're going to walk out of here a different person. I say, I promise you're going to walk out of here a different uh, uh, You got to engage it. And say, Holy Ghost, I can't let you go until you bless me. Yeah. 
And so we started out, um, and if we understand the context of it, we know Acts 2. And I'm going to give a lot of scriptures for context, and then we'll move into what God says, because I want to give you what the Holy Spirit gave me. Hallelujah. And I want you to act like the Holy Spirit is just talking to you. Don't even hear me or see me. Hear Holy Spirit. Because we have only used Holy Spirit with tongues. We've not used Holy Spirit with all of the abilities that Holy Spirit, Ruach Hokadesh, wants to do. The reason Ruach Hokadesh came was to give us power. Not just a jump, a jerk, or a shake. He came to give us power. He said, it is advantageous, expedient that I go away. If I don't go away, the Holy Ghost won't come. And he says, when you get to the upper room, I want you to wait so you can be endued with what? Power. He says, you're going to receive power after the Holy Ghost has come. It is suspect to me when people say they have Holy Spirit and no power. And so the real uh, revelation is, do I really have the Holy Spirit or have I learned a tongue? So we're going to look at some of the attributes of being filled with the Holy Ghost. I tell you, there's a difference between baptism and being filled. You can be baptized once, but many feelings. And that's the problem. We don't get many feelings. Are you hearing me? Just because you fill your tank up once in your car doesn't mean you don't have to fill it up again. It has to have many feelings. And as much as you use it, that means the more you have to feel it. But if you're not using it, are you hearing me? And so we don't use the Holy Spirit in the context in why Holy Spirit was given to us. And the Holy Spirit got a little something against us because we are not using the fullness of who Holy Spirit is in us. And so on Wednesday we said, number one, he gives us power to be a witness for Jesus. Now, we didn't say to witness. We have, we have mislabeled what the word witness is because we took witness is telling somebody about Jesus. Without demonstration, you're not a witness. You can only witness to what you have seen and what you have heard. Uh, are you hearing me? And um, so we, we talked about that in Acts 1 and 8. Then he gives you supernatural power to pray. Say, I have the supernatural power to pray. <laughs> Glory to God. It's a supernatural power and a supernatural ability. It is the supernatural ability to ascend into rams according to Romans 8. The Bible says we don't know how to pray, but the Holy Ghost will help our weakness and intercede for us. So when you don't know how to pray, you ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, will you pray through me for this particular situation? You don't go in there just going, ro ba 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 No, no, no. The Holy Spirit wants to know you're going to acknowledge that he is the one who gives you the supernatural ability to pray. You don't pray on your own, not even with the tongues. You engage the Holy Spirit. Why? Because Holy Spirit gives you the ability to access the dimensions that will cause your tongues to be affected. Devils and witches pray in tongues. No, oh, oh, my God. just because you pray in tongues don't mean you save. Just because you pray in tongues don't mean you feel. There are people I know that say the same thing when they're doing their tongues. They, they say the same thing when they, 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 hey, 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 hey. they have learned a particular tongue and they say it the whole time. That doesn't mean they're filled with the Holy Ghost. You've learned something because it's religious. There are whole denominations that have the same tongue. Y'all come on here. 
He gives us that supernatural ability to pray. Say supernatural ability to pray. I, I do want to go to 1 Corinthians 14, 14. Now we might be here a little long tonight, but that's okay. Amen. They were in the upper room for 10 days. Amen. If you're here for 10 hours, you're all right. <laughs> yeah, come on here. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 14, 14. Come on, hurry up. This is what I get all the time. Look at that. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit pray. Say, my spirit pray. Say, I want my spirit to pray. That's why he says the spirit is willing, but the what? Flesh is weak. Your spirit always wants to pray, but your body is lazy, and your body doesn't want to pray. Your body stays in bed. Your body wants to watch TV. Your body wants to eat. Your body, your body doesn't want to engage. Your body goes to sleep when you read the word because your body don't want God. And your body sometimes don't understand. That's why Paul says, I bring it under subjection. I become a master to my body. I beat it into subjection. I, oh, y'all not hearing me. He says, if I pray in an unknown tongue, my what? My spirit prays, but my what? Understanding is unfruitful. I don't know what I'm saying. That's why I need the Holy Ghost to give me the revelation on how to pray. I don't know how to pray for that situation. You don't know how to pray for your child. I've been praying for my child. Why don't you let the Holy Ghost pray for him? Your prayers ain't been working. Let the Holy Ghost pray. I've been praying for my husband. It ain't working because you've been praying what you want the Holy Ghost to do to your husband. And the Holy Ghost may have to pray for you so you can straighten up and your husband can live. Come on here. It may not be your husband. It may be the way you have perceived your husband. And the Holy Ghost has to pray through you for you. Oh, it's the Holy Ghost. Say it's the Holy Ghost. Well, say pray for me, Holy Ghost. When the last time you asked the Holy Ghost to pray for you, that he'll use your tongue to pray for you, that he'll use your energy, your vibration to pray for you, and that he will unlock some things that have been locked in you, that you ask the Holy Spirit, what is it that I need to break through? Why can't I move beyond these limitations? Why do it feel like I got a glass ceiling over my head? Pray me out of this thing. Help me. Give me the strategy. Give me the frequency. Give me the methodology. Give me the technology. How do I get? How can I say I'm full of the Holy Ghost and live like this? You got to get serious about your spiritual life. It's not just coming to church and being okay. It's engaging the one who was sent to give you power. It is engaging the one who was sent to give you supernatural abilities. And you're sitting there watching TV for three hours and wonder why you still broke it's because you can't engage the Holy Ghost I will pray if I pray in an unknown tongue my spirit prays my understanding is unfruitful what is it then I pray with the spirit yeah I will pray with the spirit say I will pray with the spirit when I feel like it, when I don't feel like it, I will pray with the Spirit. And I will pray in the understanding. But the majority of my prayer will be in the Spirit. Because when I articulate it in English, it's got to go through my soul. And because my soul is being saved, I don't understand that I am praying selfish prayers. We're asking God to do things and God is saying, no, that's not it. I need you to get your character right. I need you to walk in love. If you walk in love, it'll unlock that. If you forgive, I'll unlock that. God is more concerned about your character than your access to the things in heaven. He's more concerned about who you are in him and your love walk than how many cars you got and how much money is in the bank. He's more concerned about you looking like him than acting like them. I will pray in the spirit. I will pray with the understanding. Also, I will sing in the spirit. I will sing in the spirit. If it's HG tone note, we don't even know. It's singing in the spirit. You don't know it. No way. Are you hearing me? 
You don't know what God like. What sound God like? What just because you can sing don't mean nothing to me. I'll sing. I'll sing. I'll sing. He come on the living to call up and see the I will sing in the spirit. Kelele loud and proud. Rebe kuto mayanda. Rebe keta tata ko. I don't care if it's in note Z. Halu mukundi akalivanto. I will to sing in the spirit because when I'm singing in the spirit, I'm shifting things in the atmosphere and it does not yet appear what I am doing but if I keep doing it in the spirit I'll unlock something in the spirit don't be weary in well doing just keep doing it just do men are always pray the very effectual prayer of a righteous man a verily month. why he says consistent prayer praying come on it doesn't matter if you pray five hours a day come on and then you you take a hiatus and don't pray five hours again for another month that's that's not no it's consistent if i give him 30 minutes a day every day at the same time i'm consistent i'm consistent and i'm faithful to my prayer time y'all not hearing me don't let the devil trick you like you're going to do this long prayer thing, this long fast thing, and then you don't do it again for two or three weeks. No, where have you been? I, I need you Monday. I need you Tuesday. I need you Wednesday. I need, because consistency helped the angels break through the atmosphere. I said there must be too much on you kicking the man to hold the man at it. Make it on the good man down. You don't know what your consistency. Daniel had to pray twenty-one days. Consistency broke the atmosphere. Well, we can't be consistent. We need the Holy Ghost to help us with our time. Help me manage my time. Wake me up, Holy Ghost, and don't let me go back to sleep. Until I finish what I started with you. Yeah, yeah. See, you're not using the Holy Ghost. He said, you just go back to sleep. And I, I will pray. I will. I will, I will pray. I'm spending, too, I'm spending too much time now. He pours supernatural love in my heart. Say supernatural love. The Bible says in Romans 5.5, 5, he has poured his love in my heart. I can love by the Holy Ghost. Mm. I can love by the Holy Ghost. Read it with me. Read it. Read it. Read it. He says, and hope make it not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the love of God is shed in, abroad in my heart by what? The Holy Ghost. The reason folk can't love you is because they ain't got the Holy Ghost. Even the tongue talking ones who say they got the Holy Ghost and don't like you, they ain't got the Holy Ghost because it's impossible because the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. And I can love the hell out of you because it ain't my love. It's his love. And when I'm in him, I can love those who say they hate me. They just don't know me yet because if they knew me to know me is to love me are you hearing me and I don't take I don't take it I don't take it I went, I'm not mad at your ignorance I can't get mad at your ignorance you don't know how to love so it's incumbent on me to love you in spite of how you treat me because I got the love of God. You don't have the love of God. The folk you are engaging with don't have the love of God. And because I am the love child of God, I know how to love. Are you hearing me? He gives me that supernatural ability to love. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I said, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Even your exes, even those that you say you done fell out of love, it's impossible. I told them on Wednesday, everybody that I engage my love with, I love them. I can't live with them, but I love them. Why? Because I decided to put my love on them. And to say I hate them is to say I hate me. Because any place I've been, my love, come here, Andushkada, is still there. Y'all not hearing me? Clean up that mess like you gotta hate your ex. Are you hearing me? And Gabun shall run away everybody that tells you you gotta hate the ex or hate somebody that you have engaged with. Y'all not hearing me? Keeps me clean. Hey, 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 hey. Mm-hmm. 
I felt some of y'all in the atmosphere. I said, I felt somebody. No, you didn't like their performance and you didn't like the way they engage you, but you don't hate them. It's impossible for you to have the Holy Ghost and to hate somebody. Free yourself. You still in love with them? Absolutely. I just can't live with them. Absolutely. Still in love. But I can't come under Katohoshai. Oh, y'all looking funny now. Say it's the Holy Ghost. We talked about the supernatural ability and anointing to recognize truth in First John 2. We talked about the ceiling for eternal life. We, asked, we talked about the supernatural ability to cope with life. He's our comforter. He gives us the ability to cope with life and endure in trials and persecution. And he's the gateway to the supernatural. He gives us gifts. He gives us gifts, the gifts of healing, gifts of healing, gifts of healing. Let's go over there real quick. That's why we need the Holy Ghost. First Corinthians 12. Come on. First Corinthians 12. Hold on. I'm coming. Say I'm gifted. I'm anointed. I'm gifted. I'm anointed. There's a scripture in Isaiah 63, 10 that says when they rebelled and um, when they rebelled and grieved the Holy Ghost, that the Holy Ghost fought against them. Sometimes it's the Holy Ghost fighting you. <laughs> I said, some, so we want him to come, but he's coming. But sometimes the Holy Ghost fight against you when you rebel, when you said, I'm not going to preach, I'm not going to prophesy. The Lord told me to pray for you, but I don't want to pray for you. The Holy Ghost, come on, you're running from God. You're running from ministry. You're running from your assignment. You're running. Uh, uh, let's go over there because I see y'all, somebody, somebody, somebody ain't acting like they understand scripture. Come on. Isaiah 63.10. Isaiah 63.10. Hallelujah. But they rebelled and vexed his Holy Spirit. Therefore he turned to be their enemy. And oh my God. Can I step back for a minute? Let's read it together so when you get to heaven you can't say I didn't know that. Come on. One, two, three, go. You never thought that the Holy Ghost could be your enemy, did you? You never thought that the Holy Ghost would turn on you. You turned on him. The Holy Ghost is different from God. The Holy Ghost is different from Jesus. The Holy Ghost is very sensitive. You can blaspheme God and you can blaspheme Jesus, but you can't blaspheme the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is very sensitive and when you don't welcome the Holy Ghost and when you don't engage the Holy Spirit and when you rebel and grieve the Holy Spirit and vex the Holy Spirit, the Bible says he can turn to be your enemy and fight against you. Sometimes when you're praying for things and nothing happens, it's because the Holy Ghost have made an injunction against you. And I don't care who can pray for you. That's why if you say, pray for me, pastor, ain't nothing happened. You prayed and ain't nothing happened. Sometimes you violated the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Quiet in here. Because we want him to come in fire. <laughs> but what happens when he comes with a sword? <laughs> come on here. Come on. Come on, we got, if we're going to house the Holy Ghost and be the habitation for the Holy Spirit on this Pentecost night, we got to understand what we got. We got to understand how to treat the Holy Spirit. It's just not a secondhand guest to come and live in you. It is God himself in spirit form in you. Let's look at these gifts. Let's look at who's gonna na na na. Hand up, you give me a few more minutes. Uh, verse seven, First Corinthians twelve seven. But the manifestation of the Spirit. Say the manifestation of the Spirit. That means the Spirit is always one to manifest. <laughs> I, I can't hear nobody saying nothing. I said, y'all quieter, y'all. Oh, I, 
I should have let that one last because I just, that just took all of y'all out right there. I, y'all whole expression and change. Let me throw some water on y'all because y'all whole expression change like, Lord, have mercy. I done messed up and the Holy Ghost is fighting against me just because of what I said, what I did, what I covenant with. I took y'all out with one scripture, Jesus. Y'all better, y'all better act like it. Y'all ain't rebelling against the Holy Ghost. You better act like him. I know. Just keep smiling. Lift your hand. Say, that ain't me, Pastor. That's my neighbor, but that ain't me. I've been obedient. I've listened to the Holy Ghost. He, ooh, the Hamas shit. I do quake in the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Can you imagine how, how the Holy Spirit must be grieved with the church? With all the foolishness that has been happening in the church. <laughs> this morning, this morning, Rabbi, I was in prayer and fasting and believing for tonight and praying, going through all my things, and, and the Holy Ghost said, forgive me. Ask, ask for forgiveness for the pandemic. How the church acted in the pandemic? So I'm at the court of heavens immediately. I open up a court and I'm like, come on, Holy Ghost. I can't repent for them other pastors, but I'm going to repent because we shut down the church and wonder where the people are. Oh, it ain't the people. It ain't the people. It's because we closed the doors and in the spirit, we sent a signal that the church is closed. See, the Holy Ghost will start talking to you about stuff like that. We send a signal in the spirit that it's okay to watch online, that it's okay to stay at home, that it's okay. We are scared to come to church. And people are still scared to come to church even though there is no pandemic. Because we released a portal now that keep people from coming to church. He said, repent. As a pastor and a leader, I had to repent. You know how that feels? That the whole council of heaven is looking at you, saying you got the Holy Ghost, and you're going to tuck tail and be scared and run? Even if the government tells you to shut down, I'd rather obey God. Let it happen again. Watch what happened. We're going to be right here. Clothes will never be on these doors again. We won't ever shut down. We won't shut down. We'll shut in, but we won't shut down. Say, Holy Ghost, help. And then you got to repent for staying away. Look at these again. Say the Holy Spirit always wants to manifest. The spirit ram always wants to manifest. The manifestation of the spirit is given to who? Every man. Say every man. To profit, to profit, to profit. I love that. To profit. Not to prophesy, to profit. Now there is a place to profit. Say to profit. I got to manifest to profit. That means your profiting comes from a spiritual dimension. Not your bank account, not your job. Come on. Your profiting comes from a spiritual dimension. Y'all not hearing me. He says, so one is given the spirit of the word of wisdom, another the word of knowledge by the same what? Spirit. Say the same spirit. To another, to another special faith, what we call faith or special faith. Uh, have, you, have you been praying for any kind of special faith? Have you, act, have you actively asked the Holy Spirit to give you that special faith for this situation? You prayed and you prayed and you've asked and you've asked. And it seems like you don't have no faith. You got to ask. So, let that spirit of faith come among me. I've got a word of faith, but I need the spirit of faith. We have in the same spirit of faith. There's a word of faith. There is a spirit of faith. And some of us got the word of faith, but we don't have the spiritual dimension to activate that word of faith. 
So you got to ask the Holy Ghost, give me that special faith. It's a hard, it's a hard situation. I need special faith, not pastor's faith, not the apostle faith. I need a supernatural faith. If I'm going to live with the Holy Ghost, I need to actively engage every gift that he has. Are you hearing me? Even if I don't have that gift, I can use that gift for that situation. Y'all looking real funny. Who y'all thought the Holy Spirit was? He gives you these supernatural abilities to another, to another, the gifts of healing. Say gifts of healing. I thank God it's not just one gift. It's gifts of healing. That means you may operate in the gift that heals cancer. You may operate in the gift that causes blind eyes to open. You may operate in the gift that gets rid of hypertension. You may operate in the gift, are you hearing me, of healing. Say gifts of healing. Gifts of healing. By the what? Same spirit. The working of miracles. I love this one. The working of miracles. Say working of miracles. You, when was the last time you asked for a miracle? Not, not for yourself. How would the working of miracles look through me? How would you want to work a miracle through me? Some of y'all are like, that's for the preachers. That's for, he just said for every man. So when you get to heaven, you have an operator in your gift. What are you going to say? We didn't believe in them. Our church didn't do that. I was scared. No, one of the supernatural abilities is he gives you boldness. I would never be a preacher without the Holy Ghost. My personality don't dictate this. But the Holy Ghost turns me into another person. So it ain't you. It's the Holy Ghost on you. No, you can't do it in your own strength, but the Holy Ghost will give you the ability. I can't get nobody to help me here because y'all looking, you got a personal responsibility now to operate in the gift that the Holy Ghost has given you to the working of miracles, to prophecy, discerning of spirits. That's one of the things we need to start praying for, the discerning of spirits. Are you hearing me? Help me discern who is that Holy Ghost. Show me who that is. Show me what's coming. Show me. Are you hearing me? I knew who was at my door at 3 p.m. this evening because the Holy Ghost had already showed me a little parade of boys coming through my house. He already showed me. He showed me about 2.30. He said, get ready. Come on, put your clothes on because some boys are coming to your door. No, 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 no. See, the Holy Ghost is your, is, is your Siri. Holy Ghost is your GPA, it's GPS. The Holy Ghost Begins to enlighten you, give you the word of wisdom, that word of knowledge. He gives you that discernment. And at 3 o'clock, ding dong, ding dong, here comes these little boys praying through my house, going straight to my pantry. I'm like, oh, my Holy Ghost say, I, I got you. Love them. You, 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 you going to miss it? Because my house may be the sanctuary where they get the impartation. Okay, okay. All these, he says, the interpretations on all these work the self same. Let's go to let's go to first first Kings. Let's go first Kings. No, no, first Samuel nineteen. Let's go to first Samuel nineteen. First Samuel nineteen. Verse 20, 1 Samuel 19, verse 20. He gives us a supernatural ability. He gives us the supernatural ability to change atmospheres. Now, I, I think uh, uh, two more, and I'm going to stop with this. One. But this is the big one tonight. I want, you to, uh, I want you to get this. He gives you the ability to carry an atmosphere. I want you to think about this. What verse you got up there? Let's go back to verse 18. And David fled and escaped. David is running uh, from Saul, and he finds Samuel at Ramah. Told him all that Saul has did, had did to him, and he and Samuel went and dwell in Nabal. And it was told Saul, saying, Behold, David is at 
Ramah. And look what he says. And Saul sent messengers to David. You've got to understand that translation says he sent armies to take David. And when they saw the company of prophets prophesying and Samuel standing as appointed over them, the spirit of God was upon the army that came to get David. When they got to Ramah and they saw the prophets prophesying, they came under the spiritual canopy of Samuel. And the Bible says that the armies that came from David start prophesying. Y'all didn't get this. That they got turned to start prophesying instead of taking David. Somebody going to get a technology tonight. Somebody going to get the technology. And, and look, verse 21. And then when it was told us all, he sent other messengers. And they came under a spiritual atmosphere called Samuel. And they start prophesying. And Saul sent, this is the third time now, he sent some more. And the third time, they prophesied. What happens is you can build up such a spiritual stamina and atmosphere that even when your enemy come for you, he comes under the canopy of a prophesying son of God. And the assignment had just been changed and turned. Look at this. This is amazing. Look at this. And then, and then verse 22, and then, then Saul went to Ramah. He said, wait a minute. He said, wait a minute. I, I've sent, I done sent three armies of men to go and get David and they all are prophesying. Let me go and see. Look, look, look what he says. He says, then he went to Ramah and he asked, where is Samuel and David? And, and one said, behold, he, they're at Ramah. And he went to Ramah and the spirit came upon Saul. Come on here. You're not playing with Holy Ghost Junior. You're not playing with a weak Holy Ghost. You're not playing with an amateur Holy Ghost or a counterfeit Holy Ghost. When you got the real Holy Ghost, anybody come against you, they'll be turned. You carry the technology to control the atmosphere around you. Back up. Bible says the Bible says that he started prophesying it was so intense verse 24 say he has to start taking off his clothes come on come on say say Samuel was a bad man the Bible says that he took off his clothes and prophesied before Sam, Samuel told about Samuel in the like manner and lay down naked God will strip your enemy not only will he prepare a table in the presence of your enemy he will you will you will carry a technology that will strip your enemy of any garments that will try to come against you why did he have to get out of his garments? Because he was mantled with evil. Are you here? Now, what it means, I can rule over by right of authority. I can restrain. I can influence. I can hold in check. I can govern 
I can control. Are you hearing me? Yeah, yeah, myself. I just can't get over something. So yeah, 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 yeah. I'm telling you, don't like me. No, I was there. I'm going like, please, come here. I'm going to get, yeah, man, come. You, you see why the Holy Ghost said you don't use him? You murmur, murmur, young duck, oh, you want to murmur and complain. And you got the technology. What happens when you carry the technology of wealth? That anybody come in your territory, your influence, that anointing gets on them. You, you remember, you remember Naomi, the Bible says she called herself bitter. What did she do? She started building an atmosphere of bitterness. And anybody that engaged her became bitter. Birds of a feather do flock together, lay down with dogs, you get up with fleas. Something about being in the company and the atmosphere. Are you hearing me? Elijah changed the atmosphere because of Ahab. He said there will be no rain or dew for three and a half years. The Bible says that he prayed and he says there will be no rain or dew at my word. And for three and a half years of drought was over the region. The three and a half years of them crying out to God, God finally said, now tell them it's going to rain. The walls of Jericho came down because an atmosphere greater than what was in the technology of the wall. You just missed what I said. There's a technology and a sound that will emit that will cause something to break up. Ella Fitzgerald had that in her voice. She could sing and break glass. And now I don't know if she had the Holy Ghost or not. But if she can do that without the Holy Ghost, what can your voice do with the Holy Ghost? Y'all quiet in here. Somebody shout. I said somebody shout. There's an atmosphere. Say it's an atmosphere. You got to ask the Holy Ghost, what's this atmosphere around me? What patterns to keep, keep people I'm too strong, repeating themselves? What cycle is in my life that keeps me going through this thing? I get a little money, then I, come on, tell me I'm too ho, don't me I'm tea bag, then it's siphoned from me. I get a little, come on, wind and a little breath and something happened. Holy Ghost, what is this? How do I break this? How do I come out of this? What, what atmosphere am I carrying? What did my daddy carry? What was my mama carrying? And it came upon me. What did my great granddaddy carry? Because the sins of the father will come down to the third and fourth generation and sometimes you got to ask the Holy Ghost, what did they carry? What atmosphere was it? Why do I attract the same kind of people? Why I can't go forward? What atmosphere are you carrying? Scientists said 19 inches from you is your energy field. 19 inches. Projecting from you 19 inches. So you're closer to your neighbor than 19 inches. <laughs> Ooh. That's why you got to cleanse yourself. You don't know what they're carrying. Say, Holy Ghost, help me. Ghost. Say it again. Say, Holy Ghost, help me. Ghost. Next one, he's a supernatural teacher. He gives us the ability to remember all things. Luke 12, 12. And now I'm just going to give you scripture. Say, I can remember all things. There is no, 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 no dementia. No all timers. When you're full of the Holy Ghost. It's a supernatural ability. Yeah, yeah. Y'all bet. Some of y'all that's getting it. Oh, some of y'all keep saying, I'm getting, no, oh, no, no, no. They don't even live here. I don't care what mom and daddy had. I got full of the Holy Ghost. And this mind is the mind of Christ. And I think the thoughts of God. Are you hearing me? 
You start slipping, you better tell the devil, no, no, um, we ain't going. You better open your mouth and start prophesying. It will not come now, my dwelling place. You put a dushumanda, you draw a line in the sand. Mama, mama had it, daddy had it, but it ain't coming here. No, 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 you draw a line. Y'all, y'all gotta stop just accepting things. You got the Holy Ghost. Prophesy to the thing. If cancer wants to come into your into your space, you gotta prophesy to it. Diabetes, you gotta prophesy. The Bible says they were prophesying and the thing turned. Young lady in our congregation, you know, last week I told y'all to do five things. Uh five five say, you know, uh decree five things three times a day, right? Some of y'all ain't even doing it. Some of y'all ain't even whatever, whatever. Amen. The, the word of the Lord go forth to break something open and you just uh, act like I'm up here spitting hot air. She went to the doctor. They saw some things that were very concerning on her scan. And she said she had to rebuke fear. Are you hearing me? I said she had to rebuke fear. And she said every time the devil said it was something else or, or, or that was going to take her out, she said, I shall live and, and not die. And she said, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, I'm whole. And she said after, after doing that, she went back to the doctor. So how long we been doing it now? A couple of weeks? A couple of weeks we've been doing it? See, some of y'all don't even know because you ain't doing it. You, you ain't, what are you talking about, Pastor? What, what, what do you mean? Did you mean five? I thought you just meant that day. I said, well, how many days? 21 days. 21 days. Five things, three times a day. She did that for two weeks. Went back to the doctor. They couldn't find nothing. You better tell. No, 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 no. It cannot come nigh your dwelling place. You got the Holy Ghost. Physician, heal yourself. Gives you the ability for physical health to heal yourself. Come on, Naniyama Shatan. We know Isaiah, come on, 53, Romans 8, 11, the same Holy Ghost that's in you will quicken your mortal body. Same Holy Ghost that healed blind Bartimaeus. The same Holy Ghost that raised the man, come on, from the dead. Same, 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 same Holy Ghost that healed. Come on, Naniyama at the pool of Bethesda. It's the same Holy Ghost. The same Holy Ghost. Same hope. It is illegal for the Holy Ghost to do for Jesus and won't do for you. It is illegal if you're in the right posture, if you're in the right place, if you're decreeing the right things. It is illegal for the Holy Ghost to operate like he did with Jesus and not. Matter of fact, we got a covenant that he's going to do a greater work in us. He did that in three years and we've had him for 30. Something is wrong. We got to be sober. We keep asking for the Holy Ghost and won't use what we have. Mm. He makes us, gives us a supernatural ability to be sanctified. Say sanctified. Say he makes us holy. Romans 15, 16. Romans 15, 16. Manga did a whooshkana maki keteda. Lift your hands. I feel a shifting here. I feel kudoma hashatakoma. I say I feel a shifting here. Handa da da say Holy Ghost. Remove every piece of ignorance in me. That should be the minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles ministering the gospel of God that the offering up of the Gentiles may be accepted, being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. That's why the enemy wants you perverted. Because once he perverts you, the Holy Ghost can't set you aside for God's divine use because sanctified means to set apart. And when God wants to use you, he can't find you. Because you're under perversion, you're under lust, you're under hatred, you're under sexual immorality, you're under all of these things. And the Holy Ghost, come on, Nehemiah, he's looking for somebody he can use. But the enemy wants to contaminate you. 
He wants to contaminate you, come on now, with evil words because the Bible says we grieve the Holy Ghost by evil communication. So he wants a curse word to slip out or you to start talking about your neighbor, come on, lying. So he can't use you. So when the Holy Ghost look for you, come on. The Lord does him. That's an indictment in heaven against you. And the enemy say, you can't use them. Look what they did. And the Lord has to skip over you. And it looks like the Lord is skipping you. And he is. Because there's some things you don't understand that you got to take care. If you violate that spiritual law, then it, you disqualify yourself. As Samuel. As Samson. That's David. David, a man after God's own heart, but he saw Bathsheba. And at that moment, he wasn't a friend. The baby dies. He wasn't a friend. He fasted and he prayed, but he wasn't a friend. Because the king at that time, should have been out to war. He abdicated his role to stay at home. I'm about to throw some water. Y'all better act right. You staying at home? You too tired to come to church? You staying at home? It ain't all in the church. Well, it may have been on your way to church that the Holy Ghost wanted to talk to you, but you wanted to stay at home and watch TV and go have brunch with somebody that ain't saved. You, oh, 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 oh. Maybe it was in the prayer meeting when you're supposed to be at the prayer meeting, but you wanted to drive through the drive through and get some crab legs and go home. I, 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 oh, 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 the Holy Ghost. It don't take all of that. They got too much church. Oh, you don't know when the Holy Ghost is going to start speaking to you. A word will go forth. An atmosphere is created. Come on. An environment is here. When I come to church, I'm coming to engage. I'm coming to say, what you got for me? What you want me to do? How do I shift? Where do I move? Who am I praying for? Who do I shift? Who I stop praying for? What do you want me to do? It's the Holy Ghost. David was at home when he should have been at war. Yeah. You at the movies when you should have been on your knees. You going to the club when you should be fasting. You, you drinking your wine when you should be in your communion. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. This, this Holy Ghost comes to bring correction. This ain't no cute Holy Ghost. Catherine Kuma said, he is everything I've given my whole life. It's a lonely life. It's a whole life. You want to operate? Some of you don't even want to operate no more. It's like, just, I don't even care if I die. And some, some people have allowed the enemy to blind your eyes and wax cold. You'll be like, I don't even know if there's a hell no more. I don't even know if there's eternal life. I don't even know if there's, this is the foolishness that has been released in the earth and we don't have enough discernment to know that they've been blinded and hoodwinked and bewitched. Folk have come under a curse. Christians have come under a curse where they don't even believe God anymore. I feel it in the room. You question even if there is a God. I don't know. This stuff don't work. This fasting, this praying, this stuff don't work. I don't know. We're doing all this stuff. We're doing all this stuff. We're doing all this stuff. And we ain't come. Y'all better say something. I'm finna pour this water on you. I promise you I'm finna pour this water on you. You see how we don't engage the Holy Spirit? You see how don't, we don't use the Holy Spirit? We groan. We think we know everything. We think we can do it ourselves. We think yet we constantly tell God what we gonna do, what we not gonna do, and what how we gonna spend our time. He said we've been bought with a price. It gives you supernatural ability to preach. 
Put this in your I, I ain't going to even go. I'm not even going to go there. Did I tell you he gives you supernatural boldness? John 16, 14. He gives you abiding presence of the Father. John 14, 16. 1 John 2 and 27. He gives you supernatural power for preaching. Say supernatural power for preaching. And demonstration of the Holy Ghost and power. I'm about to pour. Go, go to first Cor- Go to 1 Corinthians 2 real quick. 1 Corinthians 2. I'm almost through. I told you I told you I was giving you a lot of scriptures because the Holy Spirit said we're not using it. Why, why do we not engage the Holy Spirit? 2 Corinthians. Uh, 1 Corinthians. Are you in 1 Corinthians? And my speech and my preaching... Was not with what? Enticing. That's why you don't want to preach. Because you're trying to get wisdom of men. And you feel like you ain't got nothing to say. You don't. It ain't you. It's the Holy Ghost. How am I going to hook that up? And how am I going to? And I can't preach like pastor. You ain't supposed to preach like me. I don't get the revelation you get. You ain't supposed to get the revelation. But whatever revelation he gives you is going to be powerful because it's going to be from the spirit. He didn't make everybody the same. Are you hearing me? We all got gift, different gifts. You may be a teacher. Somebody is an exhorter. Somebody else preach it out. Somebody else hoop it out. Somebody else sing it out. But thank God he didn't make us all the same. Are you? I don't have the same gift as Sarah. Sarah don't have the same gift as me we might operate in and out of the gift but we can't be like only one Sharon Nesbitt are you hearing me only one you be come on now huh be glad that he made you you with the gift that he gave you people was like if I was a pastor I wouldn't do that I was like you ain't and that's why you ain't because you rely on your own arm. You will rely on the... Yeah, I, I'm so close. I am so close. I am so close. My preaching and my... Speaking my speech was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but demonstration of the spirit and what? With what? Do you think the Holy Ghost is pleased with the preacher? Could the, could the Holy Ghost be fighting preachers? Could no power be operating because everybody wants to make people think that they so special because they got a revelation. No power. That's why people went to burning sage because our spirits need to see the supernatural. And we can't fault them because the church haven't displayed any power and if you have got nothing from me tonight probably need a new iPad but amen <laughs> lift your hands tonight is you and the Holy Ghost I was just a messenger I said I was just a messenger. Where have you denied, rebelled, vexed, lied to him? Where have you held back? You didn't want to go forward in power and authority. Where, where, where have you resisted him? Has it been in your prayer life? Has it been in your fasting? Has it been in your love walk? Has it been... We're going to shout in a minute because that thing going to lift off for you. Have you been reserved in your praise? Have you, have you not worshipped? You couldn't bow? You couldn't let go of the thing or the person? Ooh. 
What have you given up? What have you allowed yourself to give up in the Holy Ghost by holding on to fleshly things? The Holy Ghost said we haven't used it. The Holy Ghost said we haven't engaged. The Holy Ghost is wooing you tonight and convicting you to say, let me come in. More than just coming in, when are we going to go into the Holy Ghost? Because we always feel like, I got the Holy Ghost, but I don't feel the Holy Ghost. It's because we haven't come into the Holy Ghost. Yes, He lives in us, but have you come into Him? Have you come into the Holy Spirit? Have you said, let me into your heart? Let, 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 me, let me in. Make me sensitive to the things that violate you. Make me sensitive to the things that you want. Holy Spirit, come on, come in there, Kataba. Come on, come on, come on. Just a little rebuke and a little correction and we're going to praise God. Come on, get it right. I can't do it for you. You got to open your mouth. Come on. You got to open your mouth and cry out before him. Not a shame of your neighbor because you don't know what they're carrying. You don't know what they're been through. You don't know how they violate the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth like you want the Holy Ghost. I need you, Holy Spirit. I didn't do you right. I denied you. I rebel you. I ignored you. Can't you I'm carrying this thing in my heart. Come on, I need to hear a righteous people. I need to hear somebody that will carry a technology that will break atmospheres, that will loose you from bondages, that will remove the chains off of you, that will cause you to hear, to obey, to operate in the gifts, to cause an anointing to come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. If you got to move somewhere, if you got to get around somebody who's hot in the fire of the God, if you got to grab somebody's hand and say, help me. I'm struggling right here. I know the Holy Ghost called me. I know that I'm supposed to operate, but I let life and circumstances come between me and the Holy Ghost. It I know I was born for such a time as this. I know the spirit of prophecy is on me. I know the gift of healing is in my hand. I know I got a word of wisdom. I know I operate by special faith. I know miracles can work through me. I know gifts of healing is in my body. I can articulate the word. I can prophesy and I can decree. Holy Spirit. You are welcome here. Holy Spirit. Open your mouth. Like it's your last chance. Like it's your last chance. I'll be the conduit. I'll be the person. I'll be the one you use. I'll let it go. I'll release it. I'll take my hands off of it. Come on, pray. Hey, 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 with groanings that cannot be uttered. Pray. Somebody is shifting. Somebody is coming into newness of life. Somebody is coming into their boldness. Somebody is being healed right now. Somebody is being transformed. It's by the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, 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 come. I give you permission to come. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, come here. Come on me. Come in me. Use me. My kicking and then I'm all simming in the Kuda Makata. Remove, remove this negative atmosphere. Remove this condemning atmosphere. Remove this atmosphere of poverty. Move this antichrist atmosphere around me. Move the atmosphere that don't let me pray, won't let me fast, won't let me read my word. Bring me into the sensitivity of who you are. I need a praying church that I want the Holy Ghost more than I want my next breath. I want the Holy Ghost more than I want food. I want the Holy Ghost more than I have a physical habitation. Let me be your habitation. Let me be the one. You got to pour your heart out. You got to cry that 
you know God put you on the earth for such a time as this and the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is ready for you to engage the dimensions the realms and the portals I need to pray in people 30 more seconds come on 30 more seconds pray release it out of your mouth I loose your tongue that spirit that indictment and that legislation that has come against your tongue to lock your tongue up I decree and declare we repent father for all of those tongues that have been bound tongues that had rocks put in their mouths father we release the prophet we release the prophetess we release the word of the Lord we release the word of wisdom we release it we release it out of their mouth let tongues flow now let tongues let tongues of fire sit upon them. Let tongues of fire sit. Ah! Let tongues of fire sit upon. Ah! Let tongues of fire flow. As you did in the month in the upper room, Father, we elevate this room to a dimension where fire of tongues will fall. Fire, fire on your tongues. Fire in your belly. Fire in your spirit. Fire on your mind. Atama. Let there be a loosing of your tongue. Holy Spirit. You are welcome here. Come flood this place. And change this atmosphere. Change this atmosphere. Tell them to change your atmosphere. Change it, change it, change it. You negative. You got unbelief. You got doubt. Change it. What are you carrying? Bitterness? Hatred? How you not so? Come on, come on, open your heart. Come on, we're almost there. Open your heart to my katatakata. I want more. I want more of you. Kanda na 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 na. Hit my na na na. I need more of you. More, 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 more of you. My heart longs for to be overcome. By your presence. Holy Spirit. Lift your hands. Holy Spirit is here. If you close your eyes. And I want you to see the figure of the Holy Spirit. You don't have to see form. You don't have to see eyes and head. Just somebody standing right there in front of you. With your eyes closed, you know there's somebody in the spirit realm standing right there. I want you to take your hand and reach, reach out. Put your hand on what would be the chest of the Holy Spirit. Close your eyes. It's an experience between you and the Holy Ghost. Come on. Come on. Some of you feel that fire on your hands. Now ask the Holy Spirit. Ask him, can I come in? Can I come in? Can I come into your heart? Can I come into your existence? And I want you to just slightly lean in. Experience the fullness of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting ready to intensify. It's intensifying. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. It's intensifying. Come on. Come on. I want to go all the way in. Yeah. We're in your heart. Oh, yeah, my Anna. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit. We engage your love. We engage your power. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody's being healed right now. I see fiber or tumors leaving. I feel them are hushing. Make it a tattoo. I feel such a power of your own name. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, 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 hey. The gifts of healing is here. Yeah. Yeah. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. Here comes a wave of glory. Y'all watch the people around you. Watch them. Watch them. Watch the people. If your eyes are open, watch the people around you. Right there. Right there. Right there. People are going to begin to fall under the under the preamdu hosia makata. Holy Spirit is here. Holy Spirit is here. Don't leave without engaging. Yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is. There. Go ahead and receive. Go ahead and receive. Come on. Let him comfort you. Let him take that grief out of your heart. Let him take that grief and give you joy. Mm-hmm. He's a comforter tonight. I say he's your comforter tonight. I say he's your, I feel that grief. I feel the spirit of grief. He's your comforter tonight. I say he's your comforter tonight. Take it away, take it away, take it away. Take away anything. It's hindering me from engaging you. Take it away, Father. Take it away, Holy Spirit. I am no survive. Come on, 30 more seconds. I feel the wind. I feel Holy Spirit. This is the last push, push all the way in and you you might say lord i don't want to give it up i can't give it up ask the holy ghost to help you i know you're talking to me tonight i feel the convicting power oh my god gifts of healing are here are you that on the screen lift your hands there's a healing anointing and a grace. Speak to my heart. Shaka to makula bahasa ta ta ta. Rata kielema. Now lift your hands, Holy Spirit. We ask you to forgive us corporately and individually where we've delayed, denied, ignored, rebelled, vexed, lied to you, insulted you, blaspheme against you, grieve you in all kind of ways in any realm, dimension, timeline, from my DNA, my RNA, from my parents to the third to fifth to the sixth, seventh generation. Father, we ask you to remove that indictment against us. Where we keep on kandi engundu honsiemanga. Where we carry at atmospheres that repel the Holy Ghost. That we were involved in covenants that repel the Holy Ghost. That we think we saw things, heard things, connected with things. Covenant with things that repel the Holy Ghost. We ask you to forgive us. Holy Spirit, Ruach Kokodesh. Forgive us. Wash us. Cleanse us. From any indictment and legality between you and us. 
as a corporate body, as your bride, and then individually, Father, cleanse this environment, this atmosphere, this region, this territory that locks you out, blocks you out, that says there's no Holy Ghost, that says there's no gifts, there's no speaking in tongues, there's no way we can live holy. Let that lie and that spirit leave this region in Jesus' mighty name. We carry the technology for glory, for your power, for your spirit, and for demonstration and manifestation in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout, shout, shout. Hallelujah. We're desperate for you, Holy Spirit. How many of you felt something? How many of you felt the Holy Ghost tonight? Now, just ask him to intensify. Don't, don't, don't get there and then retreat back. Don't get there and say, okay, that's enough. That's too much. Say, I want to go deep. Take me deeper. I want to go deeper. Now, this is for the people who know that you've been called, you either abdicated your role, no embarrassment, that the Holy Ghost wants to bring restoration. You said uh, you weren't going to preach, you weren't going to prophesy, you weren't going to pastor. I feel such a grace and an anointing for restoration tonight. No, no shame. I ran and I found out that if I take the wings of the morning and fly to the uttermost parts of the earth, he's there. Found out if I make my bed in hell, he's there. Then I found out where can I go? He's everywhere I go. And, and you know, while you're running, you bump into people that say, aren't you a preacher? Do you do ministry? If that's you, get to this altar real quick. No embarrassment, no shame. I, 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 I. Mm. And it doesn't matter what people think. Because if you had to told my family I was the one that was called, they would say, no way. They would have looked at David and said, no way that, that God is going to use you, David to kill a bear, a lion, and a Goliath. God saved some of y'all to do ministry. He saved your life. Some of you had some near-death experiences, and God saved you. You know, so powerful is the call on your life that people around you are dying until you say yes. God help me. I hear the Holy Ghost. Shh, lift your hands. Are y'all ready for them? Y'all ready? Can I speak, Lord? And your servant will hear. I'll obey. I am that little wholesome. Here, here it comes. Say, Holy Spirit. Forgive me. I heard you, but I disobeyed you. I've been running because I didn't think I was good enough. I didn't think you could use me. And I thought it was too late. But tonight, we open this portal for you for the spirit of restoration to come upon you as you advance in the kingdom. Just say, uh, Holy Spirit, I'll do whatever you call me to do. I'll say what you tell me to say. Say yes. 
Say yes. He kept you alive, man of God. And your struggle will be over tonight. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Say yes. Now all the residue off of him. All the residue. All of it. Yeah. Are y'all praying? Are y'all praying? Oh yeah, and I'm a host of mine. Tell him yes. Tell him yes. There it goes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Come on, you know the bush. Say yes. Somebody tell him yes. I'll do your will. No, I'll we'll catch up. I'll walk in your way. Say it again. Say it one more time. Shout it. It's a yes to him. It's a yes. Say yes. Tell him again. Yes. One more time. Yes. There it goes. Oh. Say yes. Say yes. Oh, yes. yes. I'll say yes. Chosen, you were chosen. Shout it out to him. Say it again. One more time. Yeah. Here it goes. There it goes. Trust you and obey. Your spirit speaks to me. Now you still in your seat. There's five people that didn't come up here. I hear the Holy Ghost. You still say, Lord, I can't do it now. I still got some things that I haven't gotten rid of. I still don't feel like I'm called. You know that convicting power is on the inside of you, pulling you. I wouldn't leave this building tonight without coming to this altar to say, Holy Spirit, I'm yours. I'd rather you to come willingly than the Holy Ghost to pick you out. When my spirit speaks to me, the spirit speaks to me, say yes.
שנייה. אה-אה. Say it again. Shout it. Yes! Yeah. There it goes. How long you gonna run? How long, prophet? How long are you gonna waver? How long? Just tell him yes. No, I can't hear you. talking to the Holy Ghost now. You ain't talking to me. You're talking to the Holy Ghost. Yes. Mm-hmm. No, no. That ain't convincing. When you get the right sound, the right atmosphere, as a prophet, Tell him yes. You ain't talking to me. You're talking to him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You, you ain't talking to me. You're talking to him. Can you give him your yes? talking to him now. prophet that you'll start prophesying to the nations that your voice won't be diminished I put a microphone in your mouth I extend the velocity of your voice and the stamina in your I never heard somebody tell him
supernatural abilities if you allow the Holy Spirit to, to do in you <laughs> what he wants to do hallelujah that you remove all the restrictions you move all of the rhetoric and the narrative that he can't use me. I don't want to be used. I don't know how he's going to use me. I'm not worthy. I've done too much. Holy Spirit wants to work through you, in you, for somebody else. Now say, use me, Holy Spirit, in any way you see fit. Give God praise for the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. The first place you want to be is in the will of God, and you've never given your heart to the Lord. We want to do that tonight. Is it the convicting power of the Holy Spirit that draws you to Jesus? He's a convictor. He's a confirmer. And tonight, some of you who are far off and never made Jesus Lord of your life or if you need to rededicate I want to do that tonight it's simply it's the feast of Pentecost it's God wants to give you his spirit so you can live an abundant life repeat this prayer to me Father I come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I'm a sinner I ask you to forgive me of my sins wash me and cleanse me make me new Baptize me in your spirit. And I'll forever give you praise in Jesus' name. Can you clap your hands for those who gave their heart to them? <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, it's time to sow our Pentecost seed. Amen. In the feast of weeks. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel the quickening power. Do you know he's a quickener? I feel that quickening power of the Holy Ghost. Sometimes you got to, you got to, I can't help it. You may be in the restaurant and all of a sudden that quickening power comes up on you. You be trying to hold it. <laughs> so some of y'all too embarrassed. You got to have a Holy Ghost fit wherever you are. 
in the grocery store on the side of the road. Come on. In the beauty salon and barber shop. Hallelujah. In the classroom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to, you're going to, three times a year, the Bible says that he requires every male to present themselves before the Lord with a gift. And tonight, on this Shaviot, which is a special one because we're going to have the word and the spirit with this one. Amen. We're getting the Torah tomorrow, which is going to be phenomenal. And um, we're going to merge the word and the spirit. There are three that agree in the earth. The spirit, the word, and the blood. Hallelujah. So we're going to have the Yamahushkam and the Yamandada. We're going to have the actual physical Torah come in, which is a live organism. The Bible is not just a book. It's a living, it's a living being. Because it's God's word. God's words are living. Hallelujah. Activated in the right heart. It'll bring so many manifestations. Amen. Right on your C Pentecost. Hallelujah. Passover, Pentecost, and Tabernacle is your soul, and that's what we're doing. 30, 60, 100. You qualify. Hallelujah. You're at 64 now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody said, Why y'all are jumping around and dancing? Because there's something on the inside. Working. You know, everywhere you go, you can shout and dance, but the church, you shout at the ball game, you shout at the club, you shout at the TV, you shout at the party. But when it comes to church, you want to be quiet. We're the one, that, we're, we're the originators. We came up with this shouting stuff. Um, so we'll bring our Pentecost seed, amen, this is a feast. So if you got your seed, there are ways you can give on the screen. Hallelujah. <laughs> and they started me on my way. The Lord is blessing me right now. Right now, I walk beyond this morning. I was cold in my right mind. He didn't let me sleep too late. He woke, he woke, he woke me right on time. He woke me up this morning and started me on my way. The Lord. He's blessing me right now. Oh, right now. Decree, I'm blessed right now. The ways to give are on the screen. I'm not going to play with y'all tonight. This is an ordinance from the Almighty. Amen. And we're going to do it. If you need an envelope, go ahead and raise your hand. Amen. And you can get that. Makata, makata, makata. That's that quickening. That's that, that's that quicken. See, the Holy Ghost quickened something. The Bible says he'll quicken, make you alive. He'll make you, he'll make you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. So you can go to Give Fire. You can go to dominionworld.org. Hallelujah. Hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey. Hallelujah. Let's pray, Father. You ordained us to give, and we thank you tonight. tonight that we can stand here and give our Pentecost, our Shavio offering. The 50th means the Pentecost, the giving of your spirit, that we can engage that dimension, carry that atmosphere, create that environment, and produce a culture where the Holy Spirit can live and abide in the name of Jesus. We thank you even now that we are forming and creating a culture of wealth and riches, that as we break something off of us tonight, 
in the name of Jesus. The spirit of poverty, the atmosphere, the culture and environment that was created around us in our DNA and RNA. Father, we thank you that tonight this seed will break that off of us and we step into the graces where we carry the atmosphere of wealth and riches in the name of Jesus. You said the blessing would make us rich and add no sorrow. That blessing is upon us now in Jesus' name. Somebody shout, I'm abundantly supplied. I'm abundantly supplied. I'm abundantly supplied in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, uh, 9.30. I need you to be here. And uh, uh, yeah, 9.30, we're going to start the actual procession of the Torah in. Amen. And um, I can't. Amen. Yeah, you got to come before. You need to be here by 9 because some of you are going to have to park down there. Amen. It's, it's, it's going to be phenomenal. Wear your white if you can. Just put on a white top. If you don't have the bottoms, that's fine. Just put on your white. I wanted this whole white weekend. Amen. Uh, Y'all can buy other colors. You can get white. Amen. Go to the Walmart and get a white T-shirt or something or a white jacket. Amen. A shawl or something. Amen. We're going to bring the word in. Amen. Well, we've poured the first slab of concrete on the parking lot. Amen. In about three weeks, you won't even have to worry about parking at the dollar store unless we... We overwhelmed that one, amen. 120-some slots are coming in, and we thank God for it, amen. So they're producing, and they're going through, amen. So we have officially broken ground, and um, God is just phenomenally awesome, amen. Hallelujah. So that means you're going to get your coins so we can put back what we spend out, amen. Amen. I believe that by the time we finish, we'll have the same amount of money in the bank as we did when we started. Amen. But every time we spend out, come on, it's debt free. Come on. Every t come, come on. But we got to go to the next. I said we're debt free, but we got to go to the next. So we're building our war chest for the next. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. So obeying him. Amen. We give God praise. Amen. Don't forget, Rabbi and Sarah will be here, and it's going to be phenomenally awesome. Amen. God is going to do some amazing things. Amen, amen, amen. The animal Shabbat. Y'all sit down. I'm going to release our online audience, and then I'll keep y'all for a few minutes. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine, face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift his countenance upon you and give you peace over everything that's in your sphere of influence in Jesus mighty name amen amen can y'all give a shout unto the lord amen come on can you give a shout to the holy ghost he ain't through yet this is come on i said he ain't through yet hallelujah glory to god hallelujah tomorrow's part two and